Soundtracks make or break what they're applied to. Let me explain. Let's imagine you want to make a movie about a detective who solves a murder case. You know, typical detective stuff. And then, instead of the music being chill and ominous, it instead was this. And while that song is great on its own, it's pretty easy to see that it, it won't work with the tone of the story. But examples like this can happen the other way too. So I've shown two poor examples of how to use music, but then, how to use it correctly. First, know your tone. If the tone of the music is off, then the person watching or experiencing what you made will be caught off guard and the immersion will break. Second, make it sound good. If the music you're using sounds like a first grade music class, you might be doing something wrong. Take your time and try to make it the best it can be. Or else, you might end up with something like this. Jurassic Park. Finally and probably most important. Edit the music properly. If done wrong, it can sound like a cacophony of garbage spewing right out into your eardrums. Now, what are examples of music used properly? There are some classics like Harry Potter, Indiana Jones, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Dark Knight Trilogy. I could go on forever. Hans Zimmer and John Williams are absolute masters of their class. However, I want to look at some of the more obscure uses of good soundtracks, ones that mesh perfectly with the gameplay. That's right, I'm talking about video games. See, movie soundtracks have to match with what the characters are doing and how the world around them is seen, but video games? They have to double down on that exact same thing. It used to be that the right combinations of beeps and boops would satisfy, but eventually technology evolved, and so did the mu music along with it. So let's play some games. Let's see how the music changes between the actions of the game and how it immerses the player. First, let's start with Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, a game where an ape bounces around through a happy and vibrant world, going through chill level after chill level until his island is saved. Pretty simple, right? However, while this game keeps this relaxed, lighthearted tone, it isn't afraid to be difficult either. <laughs> Notice how the music shifted when the gameplay did. This adds more cohesion to the world and helps establish a setting and tone of what's happening on screen. It really is an impressive feat, 
to be both beautiful and reinvigorating. Unlike my next example, which, while being amazing in its own right, throws all the positive tone right out the window. Even with no information about the game, you could probably tell it has a dark tone from the musical score alone. It immediately hits you with a depressing ensemble in the background, and along with the droning notes and the wailing of what sounds like trapped souls, it makes for an immensely creepy, but also immersive experience. An example of how to work with what it is applied to, not against it. And without it, there would only be a game with lots of zombies and not much else. That is the beauty behind music. <laughs> 